Earlier today, some news came out regarding A.J. Dillon here from Ian Rappaport, who says, as the Packers have rebuilt their running back room, free agent running back A.J. Dillon has several options outside Green Bay, with sources say he's looking at the Giants, Colts, and Cowboys. So in Green Bay the past couple of days, Aaron Jones gets released. Packers also signed Josh Jacobs to a pretty big deal. And then now A.J. Dillon looks like he is fully going to be gone from Green Bay. It already seemed that way, in my opinion, even when I thought Aaron Jones would be staying and didn't really think too much of the Packers adding a top-tier free agent running back. It felt to me like paying both Aaron Jones, who was going to have a cap hit of $17 million, and then also bringing back A.J. Dillon, seemed like the Packers wouldn't do something like that considering it would cost a little bit of money. A.J. Dillon, probably not going to get a massive contract, probably more like a 2 to $3 million deal, maybe four, who knows. Um, but I just didn't think it made sense for Dylan to come back. And it seems right now, especially with the Packers having to have Aaron Jones's $12 million dead cap hit along with Josh Jacobs new contract on the books. It feels like the Packers will probably just stick with Josh Jacobs and then Emmanuel Wilson, who I think has a lot of promise, uh, after his first season here last year in green Bay. And so if we look at these three teams for AJ Dillon, the Cowboys, uh, Tony Pollard signed with the Titans. So the Cowboys are in great need of a running back. The Giants, Saquon Barkley left, signed with the Eagles. The Giants just recently signed Devin Singletary to a three-year, $16.5 million contract. Then finally, the Colts, they of course have Jonathan Taylor. And so in all these situations, it seems like Dillon would probably be the backup running back. Dallas, I think they have Rico Dowdle, who's a pretty solid back. Maybe he would split more time with A.J. Dillon. And the thing with Dillon in his time in Green Bay, each season, his yards per carry went down. 2020, 5.3 yards a carry. 2021, 4.3. 2022, 4.2. And then last season, 3.4 yards per carry. And I feel like, in my opinion, A.J. Dillon, he's not an elite top tier back. He's more of a, a number two guy for a, an offense. And the fact that, you know, the Colts and the Giants, two teams that already have other running backs, they'd probably be bringing in A.J. Dillon to be that secondary back. And that's really what Dylan did here the past two seasons in Green Bay. Him and Aaron Jones did split a ton of carries, but I don't think Dylan is going to be, you know, your your workhorse back. And there aren't many teams in the NFL these days that have a guy who, you know, deals with near 100% of the load. There's a lot of split backfields here in the NFL. And so I think Dylan still has talent, and especially in short yard situations with his physicality, he can also, I think, receive pretty well considering his size at 247 pounds. So it looks like he's probably leaving Green Bay. Sad to see. I love AJ Dillon and uh, hope that he finds a, a good spot for him and has success in his next stop after Green Bay. But that is all I have for this video. If you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below. I also have a second channel where I talk about my faith. If you'd like to see that, I will also link that down below. And I'll also put a video up right here from that channel if you'd like to check it out. But I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time.